On this episode of Turked, I got my homie Rob Chairslayer Parsons here. This is a whole new take on opposite controls. Instead of pedals on the opposite sides, we got hand controls. <laughs> All right, we're here in Edmonton, Alberta at Castro Raceway. This is the new take on opposite controls where Rob Parsons built one of the most advanced hand-operated drift cars. You did a phenomenal job with the fabrication on this car. I know you have a supercharged LS1. How much power are you making in this thing? 600 horsepower in this one. Right on. Yeah, what, uh, what else can you show us? I can't show you anything because according to competition rules, you can't see nothing beforehand. So you guys can get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah. What we got here is hand controls. This is gas. This is brake, clutch, upshift, downshift. When I pull the e-brake, clutch is automatically activated. Controlled by this box from Master Shift and this clutch system that I completely designed myself. As you remember from last time, Chris Forsberg and I are the undisputed Opposite Controls champions. You know it. Rob's gonna allow us a little bit of practice. We're gonna shred a, a pair of tires off, trying to get comfortable before we head into our competition. Rochambeau? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is definitely the weirdest car I've ever been in. But what the hell? and that's when I was like starting to mess up. It's like kind of throttling around, you know, you're kind of just working two things. The shifting, braking, e-brake, that's when it really starts to get confusing. <laughs> I, I think we might be able to do this and not die. Oh man, this thing is nuts! What do I do? What do I do? Give me some tips! <laughs> <Don't>, nothing, man. <laughs> this, uh, this steers the car, and good luck. Oh, thanks. He uh, did not too bad. I think I could do way better. We didn't though. hit anything. All right, no, we're good there. We're easy. good there. You're on fire, buddy. Yeah, right? On fire. <laughs> there you go. Grab it, shift it, go. Yo, this is crazy! Yo, I, I don't know, man. It's really the strangest thing I've ever done. I don't know, my brain kept f***ing me over. My brain f***ed over here. It won't go in a second. Oh man, it's so cool though. It's only a, it's such a legit setup. Like yeah. I can drive this thing just like a normal car. Oh, you know absolutely. I mean? Try the e-brake next time. Anyway, obviously. Well, that was pretty intense, man. Chris, how did you feel? I mean, I feel like we we're starting to get the hang of it, but there's a lot going on in there. I don't know if we got enough practice time, but the track Not is really. set up. We got two outside <laughs> clipping points and one inner. We're going to be judged on style and uh, how we do with the clipping points. Yeah, I thought you guys did way better than I expected you to. So I'm going to offer you one more challenge. 
<laughs> oh, you got to get into the car like I do. We're going to belt up your legs. You can't use them at all. Oh, man. This is going to make it even harder on my brain. <laughs> yeah. You working on those uh, pull-ups there, Turk? You going to be able to I get got, in? I got the pull-ups. Legs don't work, bro. And up. Cheated. Uh, not bad, not bad. He's going to straighten out once, but he won't spin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a zero. <laughs> he's, he's stressing out. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm so effed. Everything I learned to practice is out the window. Oh, so this is the judge pass. This is third pass. He took a little cruise through, checked the course down. Second run, he spun twice. We'll see what he's got. Almost, man. Almost. I had the tire in on the second in a uh, second outside clip. I was about a foot off the first one, which isn't so bad. And then, uh, dude, just bringing it down to a slow speed, trying to transition for this last turn, just bit me. When you're using a hand control, you got to push it forward for the brake, but then you're still got to go down for the gas. And it just threw my whole momentum off of how, on how I was like using the throttle on the on the hand control. So, ah. Uh. What a bummer. We'll see how Forsberg does though. Hopefully he spins in all his runs and then I'll just be, I'll be the winner. <laughs> Some warm up wheelies. All right, enough, enough play time. Rob, how do I do this? What do you want? To get in this car. <laughs> oh, you got no pull-up strings, bro? Oh no, I got no You got no pull-up? <laughs> I, I did the same thing, what are you doing? All right. All right. Hey, that's what we're in the car. Chris is going out for his warm up. His warm up lap was pretty awesome. Put it down! Alright, got it! Ah, he just destroyed that course, man. God damn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I hit all the clips too. I'm pretty, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know it. I know. <laughs> good, Ron. Wow, this thing is awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. He did so good. So, uh, what are your future plans for the car? Well, not only did I build this car for myself, the other plans I have for it is to get other guys faced with an injury like myself back into driving these kind of cars again. We're going to be hosting an event sometime in the near future to get other guys coming out. To test her out the car and have a blast one day. Basically just to inspire, show people it can be done and 
drive a badass car. I mean, the most inspiring part about the whole build to me is not only did you do the whole thing yourself, metal fab cage and everything, yeah. but just sorting out all those different things with the clutch and the handbrake. Yeah. And I mean, the throttle and brake system was there, but you developed the whole part that makes it a drift car right. from nothing. And that's yeah. just insane, man. Well, I know the guy, your crew over here is uh, setting you up with some fresh tires so you Hell can yeah. head on out and uh, do some more jamming, man. I'm looking forward to watching it. You're gonna kill it. Hell yeah. Kill it. Nice work, man. Boom. Boom.